Hi everyone. Welcome back to Family Story Time with Vijay Priya. So, Dina, what we are going to do today? The kindness. Yeah, the topic is kindness recall. So, I will uh, start with the plot of the story. So, the story goes like this. There is a family of four people. There is a one daughter and there is a son. There is a mom and there is a dad. Four people. And they are having a dinner. Trouble. So the dad starts a story about the kindness. Okay. So the story starts from there. So can you tell who is the first character and how the story goes? Okay. So. I know it's John. Mm-hmm. What happened to John? John was a man that one time there it was and he lived in a city. One time he saw a, a homeless person named Peter. He had no coat, and John had a coat. So John gave the coat, gave the coat to to Peter. Okay. Yeah. So that is how the story started. It started with John. He gave Peter the coat on the very cold, rainy day or winter day. Yeah, and he was very happy that John gave him a coat because he was cold. What he told himself, I'm going to buy yeah. this pants. So since uh, John did something really nice to Peter, Peter wanted to do something good to someone else. So another day when he was walking, then he saw on the floor that someone's wallet was left there. So he could have easily taken the money and then stole it and then go and get himself some stuff, right? But he didn't do that and what he did instead was he went and returned the wallet to someone else, to the original owner, and her name was Lisa. Yeah, and then stories uh, continue with that. So Lisa is a nurse. Uh, she works in the hospital. So basically, she takes care of the patients. So one time, there was a one patient named uh, Thompson. <laughs> Mr. Thompson. Uh, he cannot afford to pay the bill of hospital so Lisa uh, uh, showed the act of kindness and then uh, paid for the bill but she secretly she didn't reveal the name and so Mr. Thompson doesn't know who helped her who helped him in the uh, difficult time and then the story continues what happened then in Lina? After the Thompson uh, was surprised, oh, he paid my bill. Anyway, I don't matter, but I'm going to pay back. I'm going to help other people to pay back the kindness. So the teacher thought that, then what happened? Then what happened? So Mr. Thompson was a retired teacher. There was a boy named Alex failing in class. Mm-hmm. Good, right? yeah. yeah, so Mr. Thompson decided to help him. To get oh. better grades. Yeah, he is paying kindness, yeah, Mr. Thompson. Okay. And what happened then? So, the student Alex, when he grew up, then since Mr. Thompson helped him, then he became better now. So now he's getting good grades inside of his school. Yeah, so he also said to himself that he would repay back. Yeah, yeah. so. Mr. Thompson helped him, and then he started getting good grades, and then he wanted to help back as well. So when he got older, and when he was in university, then he created something called like membership program, scholarship, scholarship program for other students like him who were doing bad in school and did not have a lot of money. So he was helping those students, and that's how he repaid back. So the story, the last part is that uh, so Alex. Uh, Help uh, creating the scholarship program for all the students who can afford the bills. So the kindness ripple started from the John. The John uh, helped Peter. And Peter helped uh, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa helped Thompson. Lisa helped, uh, Thompson. Then Thompson helped Alex. Alex and Alex helped, helped a lot of the, the students. Yeah. All the boys yes. and girls. Yes. Yeah, so that's how the kindness ripple has uh, started from one person and been there to the many people. Okay. So, how does this story help you in your family, in our family, in that story family? How the son and the daughter and the dad and the mom 
they started to send the people kind of thing. Yeah. So for me, uh, it helped me to talk to my friends about things that I'm learning if someone's struggling and how they work and I can help them. So in mine, I share my pain yep. in the class. Yeah. Uh, for me, I share some books and some toys and materials to children. Yeah, for me also, I, uh, I help the, the people and friends who want to do something and if I have knowledge of that and I can share that knowledge there for the people and that people will say to help the other people and that's how the kindness recovery starts to grow from one person to the main. Okay. Is that an amazing story? Yeah, it yeah. was really nice story and very inspiring. So, yeah, it was super good. By the way, what is the ripple? What the ripple means? Can you give an example? It's what like ripple? kindness is going, if it's kindness ripple, mm-hmm. then it's from kindness going to another person yes. and then another and another. So the example another is person. like when you put the story like, in the Then I had kindness and then I give kindness to you and then you give kindness to Della and then kindness to Dad. Yes. So when you put the stone, when you put the stone in a pond, what happened? It will like... Wave, right? Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, you can play music and can you see how the ripple will grow? The ripple will keep growing, keep growing, keep growing, right? So one tiny stone can make so much ripple. Yeah, ripple growing, 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 growing. growing. Yeah, so that's me. Ripple. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's the story and the uh, kind of people. So uh, start helping people what you know, okay, and then uh, they will help the other people, and that's how the you will get the better place. Okay. Yeah. So, anything else you want to say? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Yes, you Thank you for watching, time. and see you in the next video. Bye. Next Bye. Bye.